Welcome to the demonstration of the initial Urian use case prototype. This use case is led by the Align partner Wolters Kluver. Wolters Kluver Germany is an information service company that is specialized in legal business and tax markets. It provides pertinent information to professionals in the form of literature, platforms, software and services. Wolters Kluver is involved in Align with its dedicated content strategy and architecture department. The software development process and data lifecycle at Wolters Kluver require extensive manual management to coordinate their parallel development. This is why the Urion use case in Align is located in the software engineering as well as in the data processing area. Urion is an innovative legal information platform that merges and interlinks over 1 million documents of content and data from diverse sources such as national and European legislation and court judgments. In addition, it contains extensive internally authored content and local customer data, as well as social media and web data. User can use the platform not only to search for content but also to collect, link and edit resources. In collecting and managing this data, all stages of the data lifecycle are affected. Extraction, storage, authoring, interlinking, enrichment, quality analysis, repair and publication. Nonetheless, we face several challenges in the support of our data and software development for the Eurion platform which we want to address. These challenges are especially related to the quality analysis and the repair process of data. The Eurion software architecture can help to understand the context of these challenges. In area 1 of the content pipeline, metadata is extracted from the Walters Kluwer XML schema and transformed to RDF via XSLT. Our challenge here is to reduce errors in the data transformation process and to accelerate the delivery of metadata to Urion. In area 2, controlled vocabularies and domain models are created, maintained and delivered for further usage. We realize that domain models and controlled vocabularies within and beyond the system are partly dependent on each other. Sometimes there is even an overlap. With a rising number of vocabularies, there is a hazard to lose an overview over these dependencies. Therefore, they have to be transparent and global consistency needs to be maintained. In addition, the linked data paradigm aims at linking information across sources. The technologies for linking are available, but there is not yet a proper support to maintain these links, especially when it comes to changes of the source. Therefore, we need to verify the availability of instance data for linked external metadata. As already explained, we concentrated in the initial prototype on existing major issues of the Urion use case. As part of the core CMS tasks, each XML document is converted to RDF. In case of amendments of the ontology or conversion logic, we need to make sure that the generated RDF data complies to the given ontology. My colleague will explain how we used RDF unit for this process. This is about RDF unit as part of the development pipeline at Walters Cuba to tighten feedback loops and quality assure our conversion project. I opened this project and its goal is to extract metadata from our documents and store it as RDF. This is uh, approached using XSL style sheets, which are naturally hard to test and where arrows can slip in easily. That's why we integrated RDF unit. So with every change on this project, a set of RDF unit test cases is run against uh, the output of those conversions. Therefore, we've got a list, a, a fixed list of files that get converted to RDF to provide a reproducible test environment and I can just simulate a change to that project and once I did this, our central build tool uh, will uh, immediately recognize that change and start building the project and running all the test cases against the outputs. Now that we integrated RDF unit as part of the JUnit lifecycle, we are getting reporting from those tools out of the box and clicking on the fail tests list provides me with a quick overview of which tests actually failed and I can click my way through it and I'm presented with the exact error message and the exact resource that caused this regression. So this enables me again to easily track back my flawed change on this project to fix it. In Pool Party we implemented several functionalities to improve data quality and transparency. Currently, Walters Kluwer has no effective overview over the validity of linked external sources. 
This causes, for example, front-end problems in the published vocabularies. To tackle this problem, we integrated a supporting functionality that reports on the invalid relations to external datasets. This way, the violated relation can undergo a quality review and get changed or deleted. The example shows the Quartz thesaurus and the validation of links to external graphics. We also implemented a notification service that informs per mail immediately after a predefined change process is executed in the dataset within Pool Party. This way, specific users like quality managers, schema experts, or any others can stay informed about the latest changes of any user and intervene if necessary. In the example, you can see how a new schema is created in Pool Party. The notification is sent to the schema expert immediately. Thank you for your attention. Please see the accompanying deliverable report for more detailed information.